Hey guys, Path here. Just wanted to start out by saying thank you so much for 50,000 subscribers. As promised, the Q&A video is on its way, but today I had to sit down and make this particular video. There's been a story going around recently, depending on which source you read this in, which suggests that either NASA has found evidence to suggest that a parallel universe exists, where time runs backwards, or in some other sources it straight up says that NASA has found a parallel universe. And I wanted to talk about that. So the question is, has NASA found evidence to suggest that a parallel universe exists? Well, the short answer to that is not really. For those of you that are not particularly interested in the nitty gritty of the physics of this whole thing, I think the best analogy that I can think of off at the top of my head is saying something like, my wallet was there 10 minutes ago, but it's no longer there. Someone must have stolen it. Sure, someone might have stolen it. That's definitely a possibility, but it's also possible that for example, I misplaced it somewhere or somebody else moved it for me or something like that. Basically what I'm trying to say is that something new has indeed been discovered. There's evidence to suggest that the physics we have currently is not adequate in explaining the discovery that's been made. But a parallel universe is just one possible explanation out of many for what might actually be going on. And I find this kind of stuff really interesting because like I say, a parallel universe where time runs backwards is a potential explanation for the discovery that's been made. But that's also the stuff that sells the most newspapers or makes the best headlines. And so that's the stuff that's been almost blown out of context. Luckily at this point in time when I'm making this video, when I search for parallel universes or the recent discovery that's been made, there are more articles suggesting that that's not exactly what's happened than there are articles saying that that is exactly what's happened. So that's quite a good thing. But I thought I'd still make this video anyway, just to, just to dispel a couple more myths if I can do that. If anybody's watching this that initially thought we discovered parallel universes, we might have but we might also not have. Let's quickly talk about the discovery that's been made recently then. I think that will make things a lot clearer. The Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, or ANITA for short, is basically a massive scientific balloon placed about 35 kilometers above Antarctica. This balloon underneath itself holds a detector, and this detector is looking for particles known as neutrinos. Without going into the nitty gritty of how these neutrinos are detected by this detector, all we need to know for this particular video is that generally, neutrinos are very unreactive particles. They're basically particles that pass straight through most forms of matter in most cases. In fact, scientists estimate that there are millions of neutrinos passing through every centimeter squared of our skin every second because the sun produces neutrinos. And because they're so unreactive, they just pass straight through us. We don't even realize they're there. They're basically harmless and they rarely interact. However, if we push these neutrinos to higher and higher energies, then they become more and more likely to react with matter. Instead of passing straight through atoms, they collide with these atoms if they're really, really high energy neutrinos. And this collision produces certain particles that we can detect. Now the particles that are generated give us clues about the fact that it was a neutrino that produced them in the first place. And the direction in which these particles move can help us understand something about the direction in which the neutrino was coming in before the collision, due to like things like conservation of momentum, for example. So basically we're using these particles to detect the existence of neutrinos. And like I said earlier, we can detect where these neutrinos were coming from. Now, ANITA has basically been set up to detect high energy neutrinos coming from outer space. And it's doing that really well. It's detected a lot of neutrinos coming from outer space as was expected by the scientists. However, there have been a couple of detections that have been really strange. These suggest that neutrinos have traveled through the earth rather than coming straight from outer space. Now, obviously scientists had to make sure that this wasn't just form of experimental error. They had to make sure that these were legitimate detections and so on. But the fact of the matter is that neutrinos traveling all the way through the earth is quite unlikely. Even though we said earlier neutrinos really easily pass through matter, like I said, we're detecting high energy neutrinos, which means they are likely to interact with some part of the earth as they travel through. Now it's at this point that I'm gonna put a disclaimer. Firstly, I'm not a particle physicist. Particle physics was the one subject that I didn't study when I was at university studying physics. So it's kind of my weak area. And secondly, all of the information I'm gonna be talking about from this point on, I found out by reading certain sources, certain articles, which I'll link in the description below. I'm just trying to produce a video where you get a basic understanding of what's going on in this scenario. But anyway, coming back to the neutrinos passing through the earth. First of all, there's an explanation for this in that there might be a source of high intensity neutrinos somewhere on the other side of the earth that releases lots of these high intensity neutrinos. If it releases lots of these neutrinos, then it's likely that a couple of them will seep through the earth and be detected by an eater. This is one potential explanation that works with the physics that we already have. This does not rely on newly discovered physics. It just means that there's some neutrino source and we need to work out what this neutrino source is. However, 
there is another neutrino observatory on the Earth's surface in Antarctica. It's known as the Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory. This one, as far as I know, is run by CERN, not by NASA, and they're actually in a much better position to detect these neutrino particles coming through the Earth than ANITA is. And what they've shown is that this hypothesis does not hold true. There is no evidence to suggest that there's an intense neutrino emitter. And in fact, as far as I can tell, scientists have ruled out any explanation based on the physics that we already have. We're into the realm of new physics. We need to do some discovery now. We need to do some maths. Basically, they found that the standard model, currently the best model that we have for describing all the particles in the universe, doesn't quite explain how these neutrinos are behaving the way that they've been found to do. Which means we need to go and discover some new physics, like I said. And one possible explanation of this is that there's a parallel universe which is dominated by antimatter. Our universe is dominated by matter. And so these particles experience time backwards. I think the whole parallel universe thing comes into it because we would have particles coming from outer space going into the Earth and we've just discovered particles coming the other way, you know, through the Earth. And so these are in essence particles going backwards in time. I think that's where it comes from anyway, but this is just me speculating. And this is one potential explanation, like I say, but there are lots that scientists are working on. What is interesting is that there is new physics to be discovered. This is majorly exciting. But unfortunately, new physics to be discovered doesn't quite catch the headlines as parallel universes discovered. And so if there's any article that definitively tells you that parallel universes have been discovered, that's not what's going on here. By the way, the idea of parallel universes, as you might have suspected yourself, is really, really cool. I want to make a video about these in the future and how they link to quantum mechanics or quantum information. This is stuff that I really, really enjoyed learning about back when I was doing a physics degree. Now, before I end this video, I once again want to say that I'm not a particle physicist and the information that I gave in the last part of this video, I didn't get it from scientific papers or from textbooks or anything like that. This is just from articles scrolling on the internet. So I highly recommend that you do your own research. Like I say, I'll leave some of my sources in the description below. And I will say, if you like physics, please do be excited about the fact that there is new physics to be discovered. Like that in itself is a really, really cool thing without the need for parallel universes. Anyway, with all of that being said, once again, I'm going to thank you all for 50,000 subscribers. I'm still not over that number. I like my mind is just blown. If you're new to this channel, I make fun physics videos. I try and explain complicated physics concepts in accessible ways. That's my aim on this channel. So if that sounds like something that interests you, or if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram at pathvlogs. And if you're interested in listening to some of my music, head over to my second channel on Path G's shenanigans. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you really soon. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye.